there, biologists. This is Mr. Workman. We're going to go through level one genetics problem number eight. So here's our reading of our problem. In rabbits, spotted coat, S, is dominant to solid color, little s, and black color, big capital B, is dominant to brown, lowercase b. Let's write down those allele combinations right away. All right? So capital S is spotted. And lowercase s is solid. Capital B in black. And lowercase b is brown. All right. Now, a brown spotted rabbit is mated to a solid black one. And all the offspring are black spotted. All right, so we have two questions here. What are the genotypes of the parents? Uh, this says parts, but it should be parents. <laughs> and 8b, what would be the appearance of the F2 if two of these F1 black spotted rabbits were mated? All right, so what we actually need to do is not only figure out the genotypes of the parents here, we need to figure out the genotypes of the F1 so we could figure out F2. Well, let's use what we know to establish our answer here. Our parents are brown spotted and solid black. All right? So brown, in order to be brown, parent 1 here has to be lowercase b, lowercase b. And spotted, uh, the parent has at least one capital or dominant allele we do not know yet the second allele. And that brown spotted rabbit is going to be mated to the solid black one. So um, black is at least heterozygous, maybe homozygous dominant, but we don't know that second allele yet. Um, and solid, you know, this parent's got to be homozygous recessive for solid. So we at least know that. Now, in the F1 generation, this cross is giving us rabbits that are all black spotted. All black spotted. So they're, they're, all of the F1 rabbits are, exp are expressing the dominant form of these traits. So that must mean they have at least one dominant allele for both of those traits. All right? What we don't know is those second alleles yet. But we can do some inference, right? Um, let's look at this parent. This parent can only give the recessive allele for brown, and this parent can only give the recessive allele for solid. So what that means is that these F1 must be heterozygous for both. All right? Now, if all of these offspring are heterozygous for both, and none of them are homozygous recessive, that must mean this must be a capital B. And this must be a capital S. Because otherwise, we would have some offspring showing the recessive phenotype for these particular traits. Now for the F2, what we have here, if we allowed some of these F2 rabbits to mate, what that means is that we have a dihybrid cross. All right. So in a dihybrid cross, we're going to get a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio 
9 out of 16 would show both dominant traits, which means black and spotted. 3 out of the 16 would show one dominant trait, one recessive. Another 3 out of the 16 would show this, the other trait dominant, the other trait recessive. So we could have black and solid, brown with spotted, <clears throat> and then 1 out of 16 would show both traits recessive. So that means brown and solid. All right, that's number eight.